And one day before the start, as is the tradition, everybody gathers in Paris at the iconic and prestigious Place Vendôme. Nothing could be more fitting to welcome these little gems of automobile history. On today's programme, welcoming our competitors, handing over their equipment and completing some formalities. Quel numéro? What's your number? 24. 24? Sarah and Lucy. Sarah and Lucy. Here you have two posters, two sets of pencils and markers to make notes of the roadbook. The famous roadbook, an essential accessory for our competitors for the next five days. Friend for some, enemy for others. Even for those familiar with this kind of competition, clarification is necessary. After the stop, there is 300 meters. After the start, there is 600. But for her, the radar zone with 30 indicates a maximum speed. But you say it's an average. For this 22nd edition, the Rallye de Princesse Richard Mille offers us yet another exceptional lineup. Our ambassador, driving a Ferrari 250 GT Lusso, is one of them. It's a nice car, but when you look at the other cars in the Parfumé, you notice we have some really nice cars there. I'm under the impression that the level keeps going up every year, and that's wonderful. Porsche, Mercedes, Triumph, Ferrari, some of the gems just shine a little bit more than the others. It's time for the introductions. This is a wonderful car. It's a 1959 Beau car. It's an American car and with its blue livery, it really stands out. It's a bit of a special one, but I like it. It's also a difficult car to drive, with lots of wind requiring lots of skills on the driver. But it's a lot of fun, as the American would say. This is the very first BMW built in 1929. It does not have a BMW badge yet, it's still called a Dixie but it would become a BMW later on. It doesn't have any brakes, or very little to say the least, and searing it is very tough. When you exit a corner, you have to straighten it yourself, for it doesn't straighten itself. The pedals are very small and very close to one another, so that's very difficult as well, but she will do. For its first fully independent organization, Peter Otto wanted to make an impression with a new route and an important announcement for the future. We go to Beaune, then to Megève, Alpe d'Huez, etc. So I think it's a route that has not been used very often in the past, and I think they will like it. Competitors come from all over the world, from France, of course, but also from other European countries, and the United States and Asia as well. And I uh, will not hide the fact that we are uh, very much considering organizing an American version next year. In Parc Fermé, every detail counts, and all the cars are screened in order to obtain the green light to allow them to take the start. Could I have uh, the documents of the car, please? Merci. La carte grise, merci. On fait les feux. Can we check all the lights? Indicators, left and right. On fait le clignotant gauche, clignotant droit. Brake lights as well. Okay, I think that's all okay. On est bon, hein? Top, super. Elle est concentrée là. La copine. I've connected the master and now I have to synchronize the master with the official time of the event. And then we're good to go. D-Day. 
The sun takes hold of the Place Vendôme and the pressure mounts just a notch. Our princesses are in the starting blocks. We are very excited, not too anxious. The car is great. We can't wait to get on the way. I'm really excited as well. I've been looking forward to attend this for quite a while. And it's nice to see all the girls come together and do something that I guess is unexpected of us. I think we'll have a good time. These are wonderful historic cars. The route is just magical. But there will be some competition on the regularity zones. Panicking just a bit, but also very excited. She will take care of the roadbook and I only have to drive. But I'm a bit stressed anyway, not sure this will work out. Everything will be fine. And off we go for the 80 female crews. They start a journey of 1,700 kilometers divided into five stages to discover our heritage and some of the most prestigious places of France. The roads of Burgundy and its wine capital bone, we head towards Megève, the stronghold of the Baroness of Rothschild and the dizzying passes of Alpe d'Huez. Finally, we head south to reach Les de Provence and its quarries for an arrival in Nice, the capital of the Côte d'Azur. Already in the first stage between Paris and Bonn, the race took an unexpected turn for some of the competitors. The German team at the wheel of the 1959 Bocar XP5 falls victim to the limits of their car. Don't hesitate to put your feet on the car. No, on the seat. Go up. No, don't push on the door. We're good to go. It's a racing car and Paris has lots of stop and go traffic. So the temperature went up to 140 degrees. If it's the cylinder head gasket, I'm learning a new word here, the Zylinderkopfdichtung, as we say in German, then we are in trouble. If it's something else, Mark told us there is a good chance we can continue. So, fingers crossed, we can take the start tomorrow on good roads with lots of cool air and then we should be all right. This adventure also takes us up the mountains. This is Megève in the Mont Blanc Massif. And there is also a homage to one of the icons of the Tour de France with the 21 hairpins of Alpe d'Huez. I'll let you go to the start now. Have a nice day, have a good RZ. Rally de Princesse Richamille is a regularity race on open roads. The rule is simple. Respect an hourly average on the route defined by the RZ or regularity zone. Speed is not key, but the clock is. And teamwork is of utmost importance. Tu roules à 45. Et dans 500 mètres. Attends, je vais t'en voir. Ah, c'est bon, j'y vais. 
Ouais. Tu vas ouais, ouais. Tu peux y aller. Dans 500 mètres, il va falloir tourner, mais franchement à droite. I've checked the distance and time, and every time I tell whether we are a second up or two or three full behind, or if we are too fast. And then I shout a bit. The trip master and a swap watch are our most important tools. It's a bit rudimentary, but it's cool, and not so rudimentary at all. And we are pretty proud of ourselves. Both of us talk about the book. In the roadbook, we see the average speeds, the difficulties along the way, and that's what I announced to her. And before we start, we both check the roadbook, and I only have to listen to her. And there is a real time constraint to respect. Yes, every second counts. What would this rally be without its little interludes? The opportunity for our princesses to chat over a drink or lunch. A visit of the hospices of Bonn. It's one of Burgundy's jewels, one of the region's most visited monuments. It's known for its colorful rooftops, but the building also has a rich history, for it was a medieval hospital. Or a break in a monastery. or even some castles along the country roads. Hello and welcome to the Château du Touvet. You will have the pleasure to walk through the salon and go to have some lunch. Did you see the nice gardens? They are from the 18th century, with water running through it for over 250 years now. And it's all natural, it just crosses the garden. And we are very happy to welcome all these historic cars today, for they go very well with the patrimony of the castle. Thank you for welcoming us. Enjoy your lunch. Or have some unusual experiences, like this country lunch on the shores of the Lac Drieux in the Hautes Alpes. Here's a little picnic basket for you, with uh, some uh, local specialties. It's an invitation to discover some of our most beautiful landscapes, made possible by the work of the entire Peter Water team. A lot of time is invested in the organization of the event, but it offers our princesses some unforgettable and unique experiences. The choice of the caterer, finding the locations for lunch and dinner, even organizing the parking lot. Nothing is left to chance. Ready for the new day? Start in 30 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Top départ, belle journée. 3, 2, 1. Top départ, belle journée. 30 secondes. 2, 1, go. Have a good day, see you tonight. It's the end of the gentle walk through the park. It's time to return to the competition. Now the mechanical side of things will start to play a role. Those behind us have a more powerful car. Our little one only has 90 brake horsepower. Maybe we should get out and push. Exiting the hairpins might be difficult, but we will take some time here. And for some of the princesses, strategy is key. It's time to change cars. The Dixie makes room for another BMW which is six times heavier. We knew that the small one, which was built in 1929, would not last the mountain stages. So we arranged with the organizers that we could change our car for the two days in the mountains. 
So we will drive with a 502 now, the first BMW with a V8 engine from 1959. With four teams vying for first place, the setting of the race undergoes some slight changes. The road gives way to the asphalt of the Vaison circuit for seven laps. Explanation by Nathalie Vincent, a temporary coach for the duration of the event. So there is one reconnaissance lap, one lap to get to the speed you have to keep for four laps. 45 kilometers an hour. We've decided that's what we will hold on to. Be careful because you know there are penalties if you drive too fast, too slow. I know. And then there's a final lap to leave the circuit. Final cultural break for our princesses on the road towards Les Bois de Provence with the impressive quarries of lights. So this is an old limestone quarry. The quarryman extracted rocks from the quarry to build houses in the valley of the Bo. At the end of the 70s, this place became an artistic hotspot and now we project images on the walls and the floors. Today, you have the honor to admire some of this year's spectacles from Vermeer to Van Gogh and the one on Mondrian. For a few moments, time stands still. But not for long, for the race resumes, heading for the finish in Nice. Hello, after the blue Porsche Targa, it will be your turn. Yeah, you're absolutely right, no worries. After that is the E72, the little red Corvette over there. Hello, all okay? You're behind the little 71 over there, it's uh, parked over there. Hi, all okay? Behind the 67, once it's out, it's your turn. After five days, 1,700 kilometers and 17 regularity zones, it was with their 1966 Chevrolet Corvette that Henri Boucherie and Stephanie Ward won this 22nd edition, closely followed by Letitia and Isabel. It was very tough. We had a great fight with a little Opel 45 for the whole of the event. It was leading for three days, but we did not give up. 
It was a superb fight, especially on the fourth day when we took the lead in the mountain stages, thanks to the horsepower of the Corvette. We are very happy. Great. It's tough. Yes, but it was great. <laughs> we had lots of stress. It was very hard to be leading the race, to deal with the fear of being overtaken. And in the end, they did overtake us. It's a different race when you lead from the start and to keep on leading for three days, but we're happy to be on the podium. They were nibbling away our lead. It wasn't easy, but we did it and we're happy. Complicity. Complicity. We're here. We won. We're the best. In the crowd, we find our German crew for one of life's important lessons. Despite their bad luck, they insisted on crossing the finish line on foot. 20 kilometers in a wonderful car, big adventure with lots of stress. But we're here, we persevered, we're in Nice after five wonderful days. We're extremely happy. I think uh, we just learned one thing and I think that's the important thing. It's uh, no matter what, um, not giving up. And that's part of the Rally de Princesse Richard Mille as well. It's more than a race, it's a state of mind. We love the mountains, and the car was our best friend. Thanks to a wonderful driver, of course. But it wasn't easy in the mountains. And even though we had problems with the starter engine, with the brakes, it did not give up, and nor did we. A dream. A dream. I don't have words for it. We were amazed. It was just magical, incredible. Whether it was the mountains or here in the Provence region, it was all exceptionally beautiful. On the road sections we could relax, but in the RZ we wanted to perform well, get the averages right, get the times right. You're fully immersed in the sporting side of it, it's really exciting. And based on the smiles and the scenes of jubilation at the finish line, we can guess there was plenty of satisfaction of a job well done. Happy, happy, she's here, we as well. But we had a great journey, full of adventure and a wonderful, peaceful France. And we had a great team of mechanics to helping us. Without them, we could not have even done two miles. We were very happy to have done this adventure with such a great group of ladies. Fantastic organization and the best pilot I could ever wish for. Very well, we got a good result, so we're pretty happy. We did not want to quit a couple of hundred meters before the end. Our honor is safe, we made it till the end and with a good result to boot. Five days of intense driving, but it's a lot of venture and I'm proud that we, we made it. <laughs>